911 center directors from across our area have some concerns about serious staffing shortages, and they say the problem's getting worse almost by the day. Some 911 directors are calling this a crisis situation. 2822 Eyewitness News <laughs> I-Team reporter Andy Mahalshik has been working this story. He joins us live tonight in Hanover Township with more. Andy? Well, good evening, Nick and Cass. Indeed, a crisis situation. Some told me that today. I spoke to 911 directors from all across northeastern and central Pennsylvania. They tell similar stories as here in Luzerne County. They're operating between 30 and 50 percent of their usual staff. They say the challenge is not only attracting new employees, but also retaining them. Those words are spoken about a thousand times each and every day at the Luzerne County 911 Center. But the number of the dispatchers, commonly called telecommunicators, is on the decline and has been for years. Well, what we're seeing is a trend where we have a high vacancy rate and they're leaving faster than we can replace them. Fred Rosencrantz is executive director of Luzerne County 911. In the last month, I lost uh, a 23-year employee, a 25-year employee, and a 3-year employee. And what we're seeing now is uh, a trend due to the burnout rate and the high volumes of mandates that we're, we're giving uh, to staff the shifts. Um, it's causing a ripple effect through our, our whole organization. Rosencrantz says that more than half of the 64 telecommunicator positions are vacant. Managers and supervisors have been assisting handling 911 calls. He says the county, like many businesses, are facing a worker shortage. A lot of the other factors are, are starting salaries. Um, it's serious enough that it's made it to the governor's desk. Um, he's looking at increasing the 911 phone fees to help with recruiting, retention, and starting salaries for telecommunicators. Copy that. We spoke with Bill Tomalitis, who has answered the call for help for more than 20 years. This job, safe to say, not for the faint of heart. No, it's not for a fan heart. You got to be thick skin, you know, nerves of steel to deal what we do on a daily basis. You know, the things you hear on those phones, a normal person would not want to hear. A Luzerne County Council member Tim McGinley says the county may have to rethink how it recruits new staff. Maybe we have to get to the colleges. Uh, someone is a part time college student. Maybe they could do it two or three days a week, that type of thing. You know, we have to think a little bit out of the box, as they say. Now, Rosencrantz also tells me as a very last resort, they may look into hiring a third party like a temp service to help hire new staff. Now, last year, County Council approved a raise in the starting training fee from about $33,000 to about $38,000 a year. Now, I also spoke today directly to the 911 directors in Schuylkill and Lackawanna counties. They face similar situations. We'll keep you posted. Nick and Candace. Oh, that is a crisis levels, it looks like. Andy, thanks for the update.